Loading scenario 127. Now, we shall see how impressive you truly are. Gamers and gamers, what is going on? My name is Tenek127, and welcome back to another Torchlight video. <laughs> and man, oh man, there's probably like a billion of you right now after yesterday morning's um, video spam. Like, Tenek, if you upload one more Torchlight video, we swear to God! Thanks, I'll cut you. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know, I know. But guys, honestly, I haven't been this excited for a game in a in a long time and if you've been on my channel long enough especially just you know since even even just since last year you guys know that um torchlight and torchlight frontiers have been something that i've just been eagerly participating i'm sure um for those of you who've um, been here for a while i'm sure you probably remember my video where i literally called torchlight frontiers the next big console um mmo which may have been a little bit of a, an exaggeration or an overstatement but um, I'm going to ex explain to you guys, you know, why I feel that way and, and stuff like that and what exactly has me so excited and everything when it comes to, um, this game. Um, for those who don't know, uh, I've told this story probably a billion times on the channel, but we get new subscribers every day, so I'm going to fill you in on, on some backstory real quick. Um, my first MMO I ever played was Final Fantasy XIV, and Final Fantasy XIV, big fat disclaimer, is an amazing game. I personally was just one of those guys who had a really, really terrible um, experience with it. It was my first MMO. I just wanted to play a sword. I literally just saw the game as a Final Fantasy game you could play with friends. I had no clue what tanks, healers were, trinity systems, healing, DPS mechanics. I knew none of that. All I knew was it was a Final Fantasy game that had multiplayer, and I was like, yo, I'm getting on, and I'm going to ff it out with my bros my girl and all all that and all, all that stuff and after jumping in that as a tank for my first mmo not knowing you know the mechanics and everything the community of that game literally ate me alive i'm talking um you know just being bashed and thrashed on every single dungeon every youtube video i made spammed with hate and dislikes they're still on my channel you guys can look at these videos yourselves. Type Tenek one two seven FFXIV in your in your browser in your browser right now, and you guys will see some of the ugly spam view. Now, granted, in a lot of these videos, I am wrong. Some of the hate was, you know, well deserved, but I just I, I, I didn't have a really well op, open welcome arms with that game. It's been really difficult for me to give it a try ever since. But ever since then, I've been on this MMO quest, as a lot of you guys know. And I've been looking for that perfect MMO for um for me. And one thing I really do love that MMOs give, um, especially well when they do give this, is options. Games where you can play your way. That's one thing I really love about Black Desert. The fact that it um, ditches that whole Trinity system. But at the same time, it doesn't offer much PvE content because it's a PvP based kind of game. And so, you know, it's like every MMO I find, it's like, okay, this one's almost there, but it doesn't have quite what I'm looking for. And Torchlight Frontiers, um, the, the upcoming MMO version of, of Torchlight, which will hit console uh, eventually, it's in an open, it's in a, well, not an open alpha, but a closed alpha on PC right now that's slowly upgrading over time, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, I've said it here plenty on this channel. Um... It's it's basically Torchlight 2 with better graphics, new story and stuff like that, of course. You know, it's, it's not the same game, but that same character customization is there. And the thing that draws me in the most about um, Torchlight 2, and I even like this feature more than um, Diablo and, and Path of Exile. Now, don't get me wrong. In Diablo and Path of Exile, you know, classes are... Are very customizable you can build your class the way you want um in Diablo they're a bit more they're a bit more strict but when I play torchlight I feel like I can literally make anything 
I mean, of course, you know, limited to the classes and weapons they give you, but man, you can you can do anything in Torchlight because every class is compatible with any weapon in the game. That means you can combine all types of crazy skills and and and, and, and things like that. And and it's just you know, there's so many different combinations of stuff like that you can do. Like you can be a you can be a mage archer hybrid, for example. You can be a um a uh, a berserker archer you can be a, a sword mage there's all kinds of stuff you can do in here and the possibilities are limitless now i know you know torchlight it, it lacks in some areas you know with um with like character customization and stuff like that it's it's built off of a old school game and one thing i respect about the mmo is from what i can see anyway i haven't got my hands on it because as you guys know i don't have a um a gaming pc but it really looks like it stays too to, true to that Torchlight formula. And so far from what I've played from Torchlight 2, it just, it, having this as an MMO just seems fantastic. So many people, you know, that are um, doing so many different kind of different builds and, and different things. Like, do you know how many, like, imagine, take your favorite MMO RPG, right? But imagine just a variety of different, you know, class builds, player styles, and stuff like that just running around 24-7. And that's the potential I see when, every time I look at um, Torchlight Frontiers. And that feeling just looks um, amazing to me. And, you know, Max Schaefer and a lot of the developers on that team, they have talked about so many times how so they have all kinds of um, grand plans and stuff like that for the game. I think even once last year in an interview they were talking about how they would like to bring raids to the game and stuff like that one day. Man, you know how cool a raid would be in a um in an isometric action RPG? I don't ever think I've seen a raid in um in games with this kind of view before. Man, that that would be awesome. You know, imagine imagine Torchlight Frontiers having like a I don't, I don't know how many players the raid would be. 8, 10, 12, I I, I don't know. Whatever they, however many players they they made it, but that that would be so freaking cool. And like um like, the way this game is, if you haven't tried Torchlight 2 yet, like I said in my other videos, it's already out on console, all platforms, 20 US dollars, and it's a really fun action RPG. And there's just, there's so much you can do with your class, your builds, your gear, and not all, all the loot and stuff like that. And guys, th th if, they, if they really have the kind of death in Torchlight 2, if they bring this kind of death into an MMO, to, to my opinion, that's a, that's a winner. That's a that, that's a that's a that's a great A MMO RPG in 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 my opinion. I, I don't know guys. It just it, it has me really excited and I I think you know this would be a really great thing and I honestly think that a step in this direction is something the the MMO community really needs especially on console. Like, I, I don't know, guys. I'm just, I'm really excited about this. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. But anyway, y'all enjoyed this video. Smash that thumbs up button for me. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy, Tanek127. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out. Take care.